Hi, I'm Greg and this is Hub Guitar. I'm here to do a little bit of a comparison of some of the buffalo horn picks that I've tried recently. You can find these uh, from all sorts of different vendors. Uh, the three that I know of that are easy to find out on, on the internet are US Blues, Clayton, and also Timber Tones. I've got some of each for this video. Now of all of those, US Blues actually did send me a few to try and I bought the rest, uh, but I won't let that affect this review. So, um, when I first discovered buffalo horn picks, I really thought that they were really cool because it seemed to me like the thing that would be the closest to that kind of natural uh, tortoiseshell kind of feeling. And uh, I really kind of fell in love with them for a little while. They're not too expensive. They're a little bit pricey. I think a three pack is like 12 or 15 bucks, so they're not cheap. But they're affordable for most people to get their hands on and try. So. Um, when you hold it in your hands, it's got this kind of smooth, kind of glassy feeling to it, which is nice. I'm going to use the one that ended up being my favorite, which was the U.S. Blues. Um, the reason I ended up liking this one more than the other one is just because I felt that the bevel on here was a little bit better, and uh, it made me feel that uh, when I play it, it, it's a bit more smooth and playable. The ones that I got from the other vendors didn't have very much of a bevel. Uh, and maybe there are others that do have a bevel, but that's something that I would keep in mind. You want to pick with a good bevel, at least I would. Uh, so we'll do a few chords. Pretty solid, reliable tone, and we'll do a little bit of lead. So I do like the tone of these picks. I feel like it has that warm uh, kind of natural sound. I like the feeling of using these picks because it just feels like they have little friction with the strings. They tend to glide over the strings pretty nicely. Uh, one pet peeve that I've come to have with Buffalo Horn is that they do tend to sort of um, shred a little bit as, you, as they wear in and that can sometimes lead to these little kind of little hairs breaking off and also can even lead to the whole entire pick kind of uh, fracturing and pulling apart. That's just the nature of the material. Another thing is that they do tend to run thick. Most of the buffalo horn picks that I got my hands on were two or three millimeters thick. Uh, Timber Tones does, does have a very thin one, which I was excited about initially. Uh, when, I, when I did get to try it out though, I didn't end up being too crazy about it, but if you want to try a thinner one, those are available from Timber Tones. And then the question, would I buy it again? I would say that I usually keep a lot of buffalo horn picks around. In fact, of all the picks that I have, I would say um, buffalo horn makes up the largest percentage. I've got quite a large number of them, and uh, everywhere I go, I keep a few. So yeah, if somehow I lost them all tomorrow, I would probably make sure that I have a couple. Uh, I would definitely buy a few and make sure that I keep those around because I do like them. I don't necessarily like the way that the material wears. So that's not one of its strengths, but I do like the overall feeling and sound. And the price is pretty good too. So if you're interested in, in expanding your pick arsenal, I'd recommend you pick up a buffalo horn pick and try it out yourself.